Carl in Tucson, Arizona writes to me and he says, do you use special accessories like premium power cords, sound isolation devices, cable risers, power conditioning, etc., to voice your products? In general, I'd like to better understand the steps you use to voice your products and how do you know you're there once you've achieved your goal? Well, yes, <laughs> Carl, we use, th this is what we use to voice our products, okay? This is one crazy ass system. It, it, for those longtime uh, viewers, you'll notice that the woofer positions have changed. See how they're on the outside now? Chris has been over here working on the system and maybe we'll dedicate one of these YouTube videos to going through some of that because I want to show you some of the changes that have taken place in here. We've now uh, changed the cutoff point of these EMIM drivers. They don't, they, they kind of got distorted about 100 hertz. There was a lot, 10% distortion. So we kind of rolled those off and put the woofers up higher. Anyway, we'll talk about that. But yeah, um, we use what I think is one of the finest reference systems in the world. This system, powered by power plants. There's um, one, one power plant here, and that works the two BHK monoblock power amplifiers. And then behind there are two more P20 power plants, one for each of the subwoofer. There's another uh, power plant over here for all the source gear. So, <clears throat> and, and cables, we've probably got, I don't know, just under $100,000 in power cables and audio cables in this room. These speakers kind of speak for themselves. So yeah, this is where we voice all PS Audio products. So one thing that Carl, I think, is alluding to here, or, or if he's not, he may be thinking this. It's like, OK, great. So your products sound terrific on one of the world's best stereo systems. Big effing deal, right? I don't have one of those at home. I got a regular system. So how are you voicing it for my system? And I get asked that question a lot. And the answer is kind of simple. If it works here, it'll work there. Why? Because this system and all the stuff we put into it is there in service of being a resolving stereo system. And by resolving, I mean you can hear the tiniest of problems on this system. That, all octave records, everything that we do when we make a recording, all of it has to pass muster here. Because we can, it, it, not just that it sounds great, it shows all the warts, all the beauty, everything there is to know, you hear it here. So when we voice a product, this neutral system, this system has been designed to not emphasize this over that. It's very neutral, it's very flat, and it is very revealing. So we can hear just anything going on, and once it's voiced properly here, when you play it at home, if your system is set up properly, it will sound terrific. So this is where we do the voicing. That's how that works. And it's one of the reasons I have, I, I wrote the audio files guide because it helps people get the basic setup correct, okay? Once you have, and you don't have to have these $50 billion speakers. Whatever speakers you have, whatever system you have, if you set it up properly in the first place, if you get the basics right, then from there on you can tweak and do whatever you need to to voice your own system with a firm basis that is correct. And that's why it's necessary to get it right in the first place. That's why I wrote the book, to help people do that. Okay? All right. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later. Bye.